Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm gonna use some lime, I'm gonna use a little bit of gin, and I'm gonna make this, the gin ricky. But first, this. All right, so let's get into this. Today I'm making a classic cocktail called the gin ricky. Yes, it's simple. It's only got three ingredients, which is pretty awesome. And that makes it actually really, really good when stuff like the liquor store is hard to get stuff right now because tomorrow is a holiday for us here in Canada. And you know what? It's gonna do exactly what you want it to do. It's gonna give you a little bit of a happy spot. It's gonna taste great. And you're off to the races on the back deck doing absolutely nothing in the hot weather. Now, this cocktail was created by Colonel Joe Ricky, And he did this at Shoemakers in 1883. And the bartender who made it for him was George Williamson. Now, after the first cocktail, he asked for a second one, and George Williamson then named this drink after them. But the first Ricky was actually made with a rye bourbon, which is pretty interesting. And so there's many, many variations of the Ricky, but I'm gonna go with the most popular one today, and of course, that's gin. And you know what? Why not? So let's get into this. Now, the first thing about this is, it's made in a glass. So there's no shaking involved, which is awesome. I'm tired of doing dishes. I know you're getting tired of doing dishes. We're gonna make this work the way we want it to. So I'm gonna put this right here and I'm actually going to cut my lime. All right, I nearly called it a lemon there. So we're gonna cut it in half because we need the juice of about one ounce of a lime. But what we also need is two nice thin little lime uh, wheels. I'll put those right there for now. We're gonna grab a little bit of ice and we're gonna do this sort of in a nice little way that we can layer our uh, lime pieces in so that it looks kind of nice and lo And there you go. Next, of course, we're gonna use our jigger. And we're gonna squeeze our lime juice in here and we want half an ounce. Look at that, perfection. So we're in there, we've started it, but we do need two ounces of gin. And of course, I'm just using Muskoka gin. It's a local gin to me and I'm almost out. If you're a local distillery and you want me to uh, have your bottle up here, send me a bottle, reach out to me via email. I'll be more than happy to do that. So we need for this two ounces or 60 mils. And we're right at the end of this bottle. and we're almost done. So what we have to do now, and this is so simple, is we're just gonna to top this with a little bit of club soda. So you wanna make sure that your club soda or your seltzer water or whatever you wanna use is cold so it just keeps everything nice and cold and well chilled for you. This'll give us all the nice little bubbly fizzy bits that we want. And we're gonna be very simple. We're gonna give this just a very basic stir just to see, all we're doing is just mixing it together. And you can actually tell the lime is still sitting at the bottom here for me. So the flavor is gonna change as I get a little bit closer. And I'm gonna move that because otherwise I'm gonna cut my hand open. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna be good? After any drink that's been around for 150 years is bound to be good. Let's give it a try. Not bad. Not bad at all. So the uh, club soda mutes the gin a little bit. The lime juice just kind of gives you a gentle flavoring. It's not overpowering, it's not gonna kick you. And as you can tell by the glass, as you look at that, you'll see that it seems to have settled a little bit down there. So let's give it another stir and see what it wants to tell us today. That's better. You know what? I would almost consider putting your uh, your tonic in first maybe, or your uh, club soda in first. Put your gin in, then put your, your uh, lime juice in, give it a bit of a spin. But put it together in any way that you want. And if you find it a little too uh, soury or making you want to pucker, depending, Put maybe a teaspoonful of, uh, of a simple syrup, one-to-one -one syrup, just to even it out a little bit. But again, it all comes down to your favor. 
you can even add some berries to it, right? So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the, uh, the uh, ingredients and method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will get notified. Mm. But if you don't like a really good summer cocktail, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. So what happened is he saw George Williamson, who was the... Uh, and we've got many, many different varieties of it. There's a rye with... with uh, rye with... Gin Ricky. Now, one of the good things about this cocktail is it didn't just magically happen. It was there. Well, it wasn't there, actually. What happened is uh, it's a bit like a lemonade, but it's not because it's got gin in it. Gin. No, it has gin in it. If you could squeeze some guy named Jim into a glass, that would be a sight to see. 